Hi everyone, thanks for taking the time to listen to our communication audit on Lululemon Athletica. I'm Jay Clifford. I'm Jorge. I'm Shin Hu. I'm Anthony Crosser. I'm Joey Ratz. I'm Jordan Masters. So to start off, what is Lululemon? Lululemon was founded in Vancouver, British Columbia in 1998. It originally started as an athletic apparel company, mostly for yoga, training, and running, but also for all sweaty pursuits. The first Lululemon store started as a design studio on the day and a yoga studio by night. In 2000, the first Emelon store was started. Lululemon had a vision of creating a community where people could learn and discuss the physical aspects of healthy living, mindfulness, and living a life of possibility. Lulu wanted more than just a storefront. They wanted to create a real relationship with their guests and understand what they were passionate about and help them celebrate their goals. Blue Lemon designs were first made for women during yoga. After a lot of feedback from customers, Lulu now designs for yoga, running, cycling, training, and most other sweaty pursuits for women and men. Lulu is huge on yoga. Every week, every single one of their stores nationwide push their products aside and unroll their yoga mats. They turn their stores into a yoga studio and offer complimentary yoga classes by local studio instructors. And before we go any farther, we brought in a few uh, products that they offer nationwide. So right here, we have a quarter zip. It's perfect for running outside when it's cool out. And also, as you can see, their kind of material is definitely more of the high quality and high class. And then over here, we have a running shirt. And they have a ton of different varieties for men and women nationwide. Now that you have a brief overview on what Lululemon was about, I just want to take a moment and discuss as to why we picked Lululemon for our company and the purpose behind this. It, bro it was broken down pretty much into three steps. The first step was to find an organization, and we really wanted to find an organization that we could all relate to, and we wanted there to be a meeting behind us going to interview these sales associates. We really just wanted to learn more about Lululemon. The next step was to contribute and execute our team goal. We'll talk about that in a briefly in a moment, but we felt like it was necessary to have a team goal just so every group member was focused on what we wanted to accomplish. The third step and the final step was uh, to analyze the information we gathered about Lululemon. We just wanted to assess everything we gathered to further improve the communication styles and hopefully improve their company as well. For the project goals, uh, all the team have, uh, have the same goals we uh, we won't get the as much as the information as possible. We may make succeed in interviewing different sales in Lululemon. Uh, we want to make sure the communication uh, audience can know and learn about the company. Uh, the the company want want to improve quality to of the product so that make people uh, comfortable in the practice of yoga. And uh, all the employees of the of Lulu Lemon believe they can have a high demand in the future. So, as Jake said, um, we chose Lulu Lemon because obviously we're all uh, athletic people, and um, we had previous connections with several different employees from Lulu Lemon Company. Um, we decided that it would be beneficial to interview employees and consumers from three different locations: uh, Scottsdale Quarter. Uh, Scottsdale Fashion Square in Saskatchewan, Canada, um, in order to fully understand the company-wide methods of communication. We each interviewed a different person, uh, three people in person and three over the phone. We each put together our own set of 10 interview questions based off of, off of who we were interviewing and what our goal was for that interview. I interviewed one of the educators and created questions that would give me valuable information about their communication flaws and strengths. Uh, we then analyzed what made their communication styles different and uncovered where they have room for improvement based on what we've learned in class. Uh, moving forward, uh, here's the information gathered data and key findings. Some of the things that we'll be talking about is uh, Lululemon's mission statement, uh, what separates Lululemon from other companies in their industry, and Lululemon culture described by employees, and also what we learned. Lululemon is the only one of its kind, and unlike anything else, considering they do not have a mission statement like other organizations, they use inspirational sayings to develop positive relationships and develop career goals to ensure success. Some attributes that Lululemon promotes are their clothing quality, 
exceptional customer service, and their environment they exploit. Employees have described their remarkable culture as inspiring, goal-oriented, fun, and unlike anywhere else. From the interviews with the Lululemon employees, we learned how their developing culture is turning into a multi-billion dollar organization. In fact, in year 2022, Lululemon is forecasted to generate over $5 billion. Here's a graph below. Next, uh, I would like to analyze all the uh, information that we gathered through our interviews from interviewing these sales, sales associates. The first type of communication style I'm going to go over is uh, how is an open communication environment. This allowed uh, all the employees in the workplace to be engaged from just daily activities that need to be carried out. Next form of communication was a Dayforce HCM. This was a scheduling app, just meetings, allowed everybody to be on task. The next was a Facebook group. Uh, this is where many uh, employees would schedule and put where they were going to work out that week and just another form of communication just to stay on task. The next was a standard email. That's how you'd figure out which shifts you were going to work and whatnot. Next I'd like to talk about is the horizontal communication. This uh, allowed uh, employees to really be active and increase efficiency and productivity. It facilitated teamwork, which was a really big aspect of Lululemon's mission statement, and it was a key part to having success. Upward communication also allowed the managers to get feedback from employees and really just uh, made the company more efficient. Even though uh, the communication styles throughout Lululemon were very, uh, very productive, that we felt that there were still areas that they could improve. Some of the ideas that we came up with for improvements had to deal with a more moderate use of uh, horizontal communication. This was because sometimes management might have uh, difficulty maintaining control over their employees if there's a lot of chatter between sales associates and whatnot. The next was less use of Facebook just because we found that many employees weren't all on Facebook and many uh, events were only getting to like 80% of the employees. Overall, Weekend Reviews of Lululemon was founded in Vancouver in 1998, which made design for women during yoga. The vision and technology are developing at a rapid speed and many feedback from different kinds of customs. Lululemon expanded its goal to meet the demand of more people, such as different kinds of styles. Then we also interviewed different people through various meetings. They all gave me some valuable and useful information. It is a beneficial way to the development of Lululemon. What's more, Lululemon culture was described by their employees. We know that Relationships between employees and staff are really friendly and positive, which provided a good environment for the whole company. One of the most important elements is a team goal to get some useful and valuable. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.